My issue was regarding students' online blog postings on their personal Facebook and a jointly run blog, and it was about whether the speech that occurred there could be restricted by the school board. I take it that there would be no problem that the students put on their website a praise for a particular religion. Your Honor, it's not only criticism on the blog. Some students were allowed to respond, and they actually say that Islam is a beautiful faith. So other people are allowed to interact with this blog. I think it helps prepare first writing and researching the brief. And then secondly, being prepared to anticipate first what will potentially be necessary on appeal, as well as just the general experience of making an oral argument. This court should reverse the 12th Circuit Court of Appeals on both issues. Ms. Danzel will argue that the school board violated the student's First Amendment freedom of speech rights when it restricted online, off-campus speech. And I will argue that the school board violated the student's First Amendment freedom of speech rights when it restricted the passive letters IIOTD on the sleeves of students. We argued on behalf of the school board in a First Amendment free speech case where I, I addressed the issue of the student's online blog posting that impacted the school environment. That all four of our cases dealt with a particular written policy that either the school board or the school had, and there's none here. Well, Your Honor, you're correct to say that there isn't a policy on point for the online speech. However, what is written is this court's law that has taken into consideration the interests of the school in maintaining a safe learning environment for its students. Well, I definitely want to be a litigator, so this is definitely in my line of work or that I want to get into. So um, just keep on practicing and get comfortable with speaking to real judges because that will be happening in a year. And I will be arguing that the school board acted within its permissible authority your Honors, this case is about a school board merely seeking to create a safe learning environment for its students that is conducive to civil discourse. The prevailing team here, uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just proud. Amazing. It feels like all of our hard work uh, paid off. Uh, all of the participants, we will all worked really hard to get this far, so we were happy to even make it this far, and definitely coming out as the winning team is uh, incredible. <laughs> this focuses the mind and gets the students deeply into a problem. It's like writing, and, and then having to express themselves, I think, is a very important experience.